Go ahead. We thought this would be a good time to give you a tour of the gallery in case you haven't been in, and if you have, this will be a nice little refresher. Um, since we're closed, um, it's a great time to do this. Come on over here. We've got some Add the Flag Mans on this display over here. And then we've just redone the, um, the windows because that's where we're getting all of our shoppers. So we've got window shoppers that go by um, all day long. And uh, we thought that they would enjoy some freshened up windows. So we just did this yesterday, finished up. course this is a beautiful uh, Teresa Disney Disney behind us and a very very important part of the gallery is Louie and he's sitting in our comfy chairs that we sit in in the afternoon when we're tired hi Louie hey Lou how are you doing <laughs> and so we'll keep on going around here on the back of these uh, walls are some of our cornbread coll uh, collection and these doors actually came from upstairs above the gallery this was a huge department store and there were apartments above and so uh, when we first started out there were some doors that were not being used so we brought them down and used them as walls and then over here, we just got some new Bailey Jack pieces in, and they're down here. We haven't hung them yet. And then we've got a couple of rubies. It will get better. What now? That's a new one. And then a good melon slice. This was one of the ones she used on her fruit stand. And on this display, we have a number of LaVon Williams pieces. And LaVon, um, I finally contacted him to come in for a show a year and a half ago. And it turns out that he has lots of family, not only just in Florida, Central Florida, but right here in Sanford. So every time he comes in, we have a family reunion for him in our, um, in our gallery that we uh, reserve for shows. Uh, that's a lot of fun. We were going to have one this summer, but we canceled it because of the coronavirus. Alrighty, and then over here, this is where we're um, holding people's packages that uh, buy them online or over the phone, and then we take them out to their cars with our masks on. Hmm. And this is uh, a corner that uh, we reserved for Melissa Minzer's work. Melissa is a Florida folk artist and uh, comes from a long line of antique dealers, so she uses lots of her antique pieces in her assemblages. Okay, then we'll come over here, and we've got some Mary Proctor pieces on this wall. And then something you might not have known about, but because our space is so large that um, when we first started, we uh, did the build out to accommodate eight working artist studios. So these are local artists that work here in front of the public. And we'll start over here with Debbie and Kevin Abbott's studio. They're a husband and wife. They moved here from upstate New York, and they've been with us, oh my goodness, seven or eight years now. Then down this hallway, we've got um, lots of Marion Baker pieces that have been very popular. I just met Marion about six months ago, and I've enjoyed getting to know her and her work. And the wall right here, here. We'll get this later, but that's a beautiful Teresa Disney piece. This is Studio
Studio 7, and there's two artists that work out of here, Solgren um, Bjork, originally from Iceland, and Sharon Muldoon. Sharon's a pastel artist, and Solgren works in oils. And then another studio, and this is um, Julie Latayan, um, and she is a sculptor. So she's uh, our one uh, three-dimensional uh, artist here uh, for the time being. But she does beautiful sculptures and, and also paints, and she'll be teaching our children's classes uh, if we can have them in June. So fingers crossed. And then we're just going to take a quick, quick peek in here because we um, we had a, a YouTube um, on the opening of Kurt Zimmerman's show um, a few weeks ago, but this is um, the Rosy Marks Gallery, and it's named back after the owner's mother, and she was a wonderful art appreciator, and so we had been calling it the Green Gallery. And probably 10 years ago, we decided, why don't we call it the Rosie Marks Gallery? And that's much more elegant. And over here, we have a uh, kind of a plaque, a framed explanation of uh, Rosie. And she passed away in 2014. This is the show that you saw, and it will be up for a few more weeks, so it's all on our website, so you can get on the website and find these pieces, and then call or email us if you would like to purchase one. Okay, now we're going down the end of these. This is the East Hallway, and I've got some Perry Morgan pieces. Perry is from uh, New Orleans. And actually, I met him years ago at the House of Blues. He was doing some framing for the House of Blues. And then over here, our dear friend, Pat Juno. And if we can, we'll try to get uh, our window. We have him in our front window also. And Bailey made a beautiful display out of his work. This is called um, Corporate Goons. And he did. He started doing this a few years ago, and um, I'm able to sell quite a few of them here. All right, now this is very interesting. This is the back hallway, and look at these gorgeous oak shelves, which we definitely use to capacity. But these were here when um, uh, the, the owner, my friend. Howard Marks bought the building and this was the shoe department and we look at them now they're gorgeous oak but look how narrow they are and think about how wide athletic shoes are now the Nike boxes and so on and so forth but I just love this and I love that we were able to save this and keep it here so lots of things supplies that we need to keep the gallery going over here, we have some beautiful Mary Klein paintings. And I see Mary Klein pieces out at our local House of Blues out in uh, um, Disney Springs. And then Pat, excuse me, then Trey Taylor. And this is one of his monks on a bicycle. And then these are some of his pieces that are on tar paper. Then we have a collection of Michael Banks' smaller work. And the red um, little squares, we've um, marked these down. So if you want to get online and you've always wanted to have a Michael Banks, we just decided to get these small ones and uh, do a display and to mark them down for um, your benefit. And then here's a few more. Levon Williams. These are his one of his everyday people. And 
he carves those a lot. Um, this is fabulous, Mr. Longwood. And uh, Levon grew up with jazz playing all the time in his home. His father was a jazz fan and had wonderful rec records. Um, and so he paints these characters that he remembers in the jazz clubs. And one of the, um, his signatures are uh, larger than life hands and feet. So the feet will be down here and big, big, big hands. Could be because Levon has huge hands for his carving. I've noticed him carving and his hands are strong and very large. And then these are a couple of, um, what did he call these, Bailey? Um, Miss, uh, <clears throat> uh, welcome. They're like welcome sticks. And uh, this is called the king and this is the queen. And he put a lot of embellishment on here and bells. And then over here, this is the king. And then we've got Levan's uh, bio here and a few more of his pieces. He just freehand carves, just starts carving and, um, you know, lets it tell him what the piece is going to be. And uh, he'll just start carving it from start to finish. This is another one of our local uh, studio artists. This is Don Moon's um, studio. Another piece of Levon Williams. And a gorgeous piece. We had a show for Trey Taylor back in, oh goodness, um, last fall? Not sure now. <laughs> oh, I don't even know what day it is today. <laughs> but this one is one of the pieces from his show. And it's called Alligator Dreams. And this is a Dr. Charles Smith pieces. And this is the uh, female editor of Essence Magazine. And the name of the piece is um, Essence of the Beauty of Culture. And then we have a few Teresa Disney pieces. And I just loved this new look of hers. She's always known and always paints the large uh, florals, and um, but I just love this. It's uh, a gouache, I believe, but it looks like pen and ink first. But I thought those were just beautiful and a nice, nice variety to her show that we opened in January. And then a couple of little dogs. She also came in and pe uh, painted pet portraits for us. Um, and uh, part of the pet portrait funds went to our local spay and save um, uh, business. Okay, we got some Ruby Williams over here. These are some early rubies. And um, the owner said, he brought them in and asked me to sell them for him. He said that he saw beautiful frames at the House of Blues, and then he found a framer here in Orlando that uh, did something similar, handmade frames. And then on the ruby wall, we have a picture of her first piece, It Cost to Hate. And she is painting those as often as she can because she's getting a lot of attention and calling for that piece. And we made a t-shirt for her with It Cost to Hate. And I remember the Woman's March in uh, Washington uh, was the first time we got these done. And that was another time that this made quite, quite a, a certain amount of attention. Okay, and then we're almost finished. We've got some Aileen Harris's on this wall. Aileen's 
really close to us. She's up in Gainesville. And these are some beautiful pieces. We have one more wall, and then I think Louie is going to show you out the door. <laughs> this is a gorgeous raccoon eating persimmons by John Cornbread Anderson. And that just pops. <laughs> so, we'll double back here so I don't forget these. Um, this is a large uh, guinea hen. Some of you have seen cornbread skinny hens. This one happens to be framed. And then we've got another corner wall for Bailey Jack's pieces. And then this is a beautiful Sarah Rakes down here. This is her, her um, frame. She paints the frame. And that's just classic Sarah Rakes there. It's called uh, Bouquet from Another Place. Got, we have three little rubies down here. Bubble Mouth Boy, Bell Pepper Boy, and Hi There. And then these are a couple of pet portraits waiting for the owner to come pick them up. And a beautiful Bailey Jack. And two more over there. Then we've got some uh, Anthony Pack pieces here. This is Anthony's corner. And then this is where, this is Command Central. This is our front desk. And the original um, front desk of this department store um, was here, was left. And so what we did was we used it, the old wood, and then put some corrugated tin here because the front of it was not very nice looking. But um, we just love it. It has the look. Have our Germex. And I think that's it, Bailey. Can you suggest anything else? Okay, well then let's go out this door. enjoyed this and I've loved having you even if it's uh, not uh, close at hand but uh, we'll be seeing you soon. Say bye Louie. Bye. <laughs>